Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Soul Magic 99 and I'm here with your Scope series for July and today we're doing Virgo. I just want to thank you all for watching, don't forget to press the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to help me grow and so more people can see the video, thank you so much. So today we're doing Virgo, this is my own sun sign, although I have an Aries moon and I tend to resonate more with Aries um, readings for my love life and romance so we're going to have a look at your future love Virgo and this is um, for July so guides and angels please advise Virgo who is our future love for Virgo we've got four of cups energy so yeah you've been through a period where you feel there was a missed opportunity in love here okay somebody that you feel was a missed opportunity can you tell us about the future love for Virgo? Who is the person coming in for Virgo? Who is his future love? Well, we've got Empress energy here. So this is your divine counterpart. Okay, this is somebody that you're destined to meet. It could be soulmate to inflame energy here. So is the attraction instant? I would say it would be as it's your counterpart. But let's have a look. Is the attraction instant here? Is the attraction instant? We've got seven of wands. There is defensive energy here. You could be feeling guarded after this last situation where something didn't work out. Is there an attraction here, guys and angels? Please advise where I go. Is there an attraction here for this person coming in? Five of coins. So, yeah, you're very wary, I feel, when this person comes in. You're feeling... <clears throat> disappointment over a past situation so we're not going to dwell on that at the moment so what is the person like guides and angels please advise virgo what is this person like that's coming in for virgo guides and angels what is this person like coming in for virgo five of cups so again i feel this person is also um feeling sad after a, a relationship that didn't work out here so you're both in that similar energy where something didn't work out, feeling sad about past um, connections. Can you tell us any more about this person coming in? It doesn't sound an auspicious start, does it? It's sounding a bit sad. Can you tell us any more about this person coming in for Virgo? Wow, we've got Ace of Wands, that's a bit more like it. So they're feeling passionate here about you, Virgo. And they're wanting a passionate beginning here with you. Okay, they're wanting a passionate. So it could be like initially a sexual attraction here, maybe. So what challenges are there in this connection? Guys and angels, please advise. What challenges are there in this connection? Three of coins energy. So I feel that, you know, one of you maybe want to work together with the other person and the other person may not want to. Why is the three of coins here, guys and angels? Why is the three of coins here? We've got six of swords. Because somebody wants to move on from the past in some way here. Um, so this could be a reconnection, I feel, maybe for some of you. This could be a reconnection. And you just want a clean slate. So what will help this connection, guys and angels? What will help this connection? What will help this connection? We've got hermit energy here. So maybe time on your own, time for reflection. This is Virgo's energy as well. Spending time alone to get in that enlightenment, you know, to really understand what you're wanting out of a connection moving forward. So when, where, how might you meet this person? Guides and angels. When, where or how might Virgo meet this person? We've got eight of cups. So this could be Virgo when you walk away from some somebody else or something else. Because, you know, maybe you're in a situation that wasn't serving you, it wasn't what you wanted. So you walk away from that situation. And by doing that, you give yourself space to meet the right person, to meet your divine counterpart here. So when... What is the outcome here? What's the outcome for Virgo in this connection? We will go deeper with these energies because it's some heavy energies here initially. So what is the outcome? We've got King of Coins energy. So this is your 
Earth Energy Virgo. So you could be meeting a fellow Earth sign here, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. So they they are your match in that um, element. So let's go a bit deeper with this. So who is this future love for Virgo? Who is this future love for Virgo? Guides and angels, please advise. Who is this future love for Virgo? 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 We've got High Priestess energy here. So it could be somebody who's very highly intuitive. It's somebody that's gone through a transformation, I feel, here, with all the butterflies around them. Okay, so they're highly intuitive. They're really in touch with their um, inner guidance. And they're very, they could be a very psychic person, okay? Anything else about this future person? Can you tell us anything else about this future person for Virgo? Gods and angels, anything else? Well, Empress again. So it is confirmation for me that this is a divine counterpart, whatever your, you know, your sex. This is somebody that could be very much, even if they're masculine, even if they're a man, they could be very much in their Empress energy. Because we had the High Priestess as well. They're very in touch with that. So they could be very balanced in their emotions with that divine. This could be your divine masculine, your divine feminine. They're very balanced in their emotions. So is the attraction instant here? Guides and angels, is the attraction instant here for Virgo? Is the attraction instant here? We've got the strength card. So I feel it is. I feel that you see this person as someone very strong you know, emotionally strong, your your match, basically. And with the sunflowers, though, that is a sign of twin flame. So this could be your twin flame coming in here. Um, and it could be a reconnection for some of you because of the past energies here, the sadness with the five and the four of cups there. So, yes, you're seeing this person as your match, as, as somebody who is strong, who is somebody dependable, reliable. So let's have a look. Any other challenges in this connection? Any other challenges? We've got seven of coins energy. So <clears throat> it's going to take time. I feel you've sowed seeds. You're going to sow the seeds and you're just going to work together to reap that harvest, to build on this connection. It's just going to take a bit of time, you know, so that you can learn to know each other and trust each other. <clears throat> so can you tell us any more about when Virgo might meet this person? Guides and angels, can you tell us any more about when they might meet this person? Wow, Ace of Cups. So I feel when you're in that good energy of self-love, you're loving yourself, this is when you're going to meet that person because your cup's overflowing and you have enough, and you know, you have enough love spare to share you know you loving yourself but you have love there for your counterpart for your person so what's the overall outcome here guys and angels for virgo what's the overall energy here for virgo wow 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 so yes this is counterpart energy your emperor we've got the emperor there and and well if i can speak that emperor and the empress energy so yes this is a soulmate or a twin flame connection here so let's go a bit deeper let's have a look at your person so what is this person like guys and angels please advise virgo what is this person like guys and angels what is this person like please guys and angels what is this person like got someone who's a great model great well, I'm speak a great role model here feel very desire desire each other very much you turn each other on yeah they could be a very good lover you know you really enjoy that sensual sexual side and somebody loves your curves or you love you love their curves so let's have a look at when or where might you meet them so can you tell us more guys and angels about where Virgo might meet this person? When, where or how might they meet this person? Guys and angels, please advise Virgo. When, where or how might they meet this person? Wow. 
we've got june so we're still in the month of june so this could be happening any time we've got autumn for some of you so september onwards yeah lunch or work so some of you could work with this person and we've got august so again not far away you could be going on a holiday they're on a beach there you could meet them on a holiday and we've got christmas here we've got transport so maybe you're going to meet them while you're traveling you know on a bus a train a taxi you know wherever okay so let's have a look at the energies of this connection guides and angels can you please advise what is the energy of this connection for virgo what's the energy of this connection for virgo guides and angels what's the energy of this connection for virgo Yeah, we've got to spend time getting to know each other. So we saw that with the seven of coins, you know, spend that time, invest in each other, really get to know each other. Yeah, work on that self-love to attract in the love. We saw that with that Ace of Cups energy. So Virgo, keep working on your self-love. And we've got Divine Feminine energy. You're coming into your Divine Feminine if you're feminine or even if you're masculine, you're balancing out with your feminine. This is a deep connection. And it will be worth the wait. So let's get some overall outcome. Yeah, it's a beautiful reading, Virgo. I hope it's my reading. <laughs> let's have a look. I'd like to claim this reading, actually. So Virgo, let's have a look at the overall outcome for Virgo. Guides and angels, what's the overall outcome for Virgo in this connection? What's the overall outcome? overall outcome for Virgo yeah we've got we're officially a couple so you are going to become a couple here with this person yeah you're falling for each other here you're going to go on romantic dates fun times together it was worth the wait again confirmation you get me any other outcome? Can you give us another any other outcome for Virgo here? Any other outcome for this connection? Wow, we've got honeymoon fun here. So there could be a commitment. This could be a holiday. We saw a holiday. Or it could be a honeymoon where you are, have made a commitment to somebody. So guides and angels, please give Virgo some guidance what do they need to know for july please what do they need to know for july they need to know for july guides and angels what do they need to know for july they need to know for july we've got courage here so that reminds me of the strength card and we had that come up didn't we the strength card so I think it's going to take courage for you to move forward, but you've got what it takes. Wow. You have blessings coming in here. And this is love. This is love. Beautiful. And there's psychic abilities here between you. Wow. And we've got travel as well. As I said, there's, you know, either a holiday or a honeymoon involved here for some of you. So beautiful messages, Virgo. Sending you lots of love and blessings. Hope you have a great month. Take care.